Hey everyone, thanks for joining me for this latest Saber review. Today I'm going to be going over the latest MPP from 89 Sabres. Uh, I just recently got this from Corbanth from the sale that he had uh, in early October. Uh, this is actually shipped out pretty quickly and I did buy it installed. This was the first installed Sabre I have ever bought from Corbanth uh, and the only company recently I purchased outside of, uh, of Vader's Vault. Uh, typically, I, I buy empties and install them myself, but uh, lately my schedule has been kind of filled, so I just decided just to get one uh, installed and, and kind of save myself the time. Um, I did buy, uh, back in the past when Corbin put out the MPP 2.0, I did purchase one of those for my father-in-law and I installed that. Uh, there is a video on my channel if anyone cares to view it. And I have to say, this latest version of the MPP, this 2.5, is uh, is definitely light years ahead of what the previous 2.0 was. So many more, uh, so so much more accuracy to this one compared to the uh, to the the 2.0, and just how to even get access to everything itself. I, I just thought this was a lot better. The, the clamp is uh, is fantastic. The the bars. I sprayed the bars myself when uh, the 2.0 came out. It was just silver bars. You didn't have black bars, so I had to get that myself. So you can see here, the bars on the clamp now are already uh, anodized for you. Uh, I had to do that. And also this the clip here, the pin, I had to break off of the 2.0 to make it the way that it was supposed to be or it's supposed to look for an Empire Strikes Back look. The MPP 2.5 is actually stamped. So you have, see if I can get this one on camera here. There we go, there's one of the letters. I might not pick up exactly the one, what I'm looking for there. If I can get the right angle. There we go. Um, so the B and the S, these were not stamped on the, the 2.0 and it definitely didn't have the micro flash tag on it either. So definitely a lot nicer to see that. Uh, it does come with this shroud here, and I ended up changing it out for the Romans. I actually just bought it and it came pretty quick. Uh, a big, big difference. Okay, so let's go here. So this is the 89 Sabres one, right? Okay, this is the Romans. You can just see the difference in the D the D ring alone. Um, I also have you can take a look at the knurling. So this again, this is the 89 sabers. So this is the straight knurling. And this is the Romans, which has the MPP. I'm trying to get again. I'm sorry, which has the uh, diamond knurling for the Empire Strikes Back. Uh, and also the weight is so different. Uh, this to me is, uh, looks like it's probably just anodized. And this, I think it was uh, from what Roman wrote recently, is that it's it's baked on, I believe. Uh, and it feels great. I mean, this to me feels like the, like more like the steel shroud um, where, where this just feels, it feels very light. Most likely it's aluminum. Uh, some of the other accessories that do come with this that came with it were... You did get a nice MPP blade plug, which did not come with the 2.0, so that's nice to see. Uh, the biggest problem with this is it's very, very tight. And this was something that I, I, uh, I wrote to uh, Randy as soon as I got it that night because my blade plug was actually stuck all the way in, or, or pretty much close to being all the way in. And I couldn't get the darn thing out. It just it wouldn't, it wouldn't slide. So... I had to grab some needle nose pliers and just real gently pull this thing out. It's even tough to get out right now. Yeah, that was silly. I shouldn't have even put this in. Uh, I have to sand this down a little bit and so that it slides, so it's a little bit more smooth getting it uh, in and out of the emitter. Um, and you also get sent this uh, bubble strip for the for the MPP. Now this the bubble strip here kind of like barely slides in. It's almost like the, the clamp's like almost like not closed enough to get it there. Um, but there is a, a little speck of glue on this when it when it was delivered, so I'm guessing it's supposed to just uh, stay glued in since there's no uh, wires or anything with this. 
Uh, so I'll probably just put a little E6000 on this and slide this in and it should stay permanently there. Um, the wires that come with it for the Empire Strikes Back version, I believe, I believe that these are all plastic, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think these are actually, I don't think these are actual wires. Um, this red one I know for sure is not. This one kept coming out when I got it. Uh, it wasn't really solid inside it, so I had to put a little E6000 to keep it in there. Um, but after like looking at it and, re and reviewing it, I might just go and grab some some wire myself and the you know the appropriate colors and size and kind of put it in just so that it, it looks a little bit more authentic uh, than this. But the uh, the installation on this, so you have this here is the primary activation, and the other one here is your auxiliary. This button sticks a little bit. It's not always 100% responsive to this, uh, but, but overall I have to say it's pretty good. The grips here are not the hard grips that came with the original MPP 2.0. These are these feel like rubber grips to me. Uh, I might switch these out to the hard grips, which I believe is, uh, is more accurate than, than the rubber. Uh, I, my expertise on the MPP is not like what it is on some of the other hilts. Um, I do enjoy this hilt. I think it uh, is uh, an iconic saber. I love the Empire Strikes Back version of this, hence why I bought it in this uh, configuration. But uh, I am no, no way or near uh, an expert on this. Um, if I were to grab a static, I definitely would have probably grabbed Roman's, his MPP, and, uh, and probably just put that up on a shelf. And I know that, uh, I think, sh I want to say Shane Craig, I think just came out with a blade holder because that was one of the big issues with installing a Roman's uh, empty is that no one had a blade holder. And uh, Goth just made this amazing looking master Sith chassis for it. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that it works with Shane's uh, blade holder. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I don't know if they collaborated on that or not, but it definitely is uh, an amazing look. So anyone who's got a Romans out there, you know, ch check that out and contact Shane. Uh, go to the MPP Addicts support group page uh, up on Facebook, and uh, I think they're they're all pretty active over there. Uh, 89 Stabrits. It does come in this nice nice box, which seems to be the uh, the running. The running presentation nowadays with a lot of these companies, these fancy little boxes that they come in, rather than just being wrapped in a newspaper delivered in a um, a brown brown shipping box like they used to. Uh, you know, it's kind of funny that I I, I get this because um, the Corbanth the the two point one Graflex was my first install that I grabbed back in uh, oh gosh was it like January I think of twenty sixteen right after uh, Force Awakens came out and that kind of got me into the the hobby of uh, installing uh, FX hilts. So uh, I, I kind of find it fitting that I kind of come back to Corbanth again to, to grab to grab a, a Vader, 80, an, 89, uh, an 89 Sabres with, with Corbanth selling them uh, an MPP. Uh, pretty enjoyable, I have to say. I'm going to show off. This is with a, a Profi board. I really enjoy the pommel on this because it's vented really well. Let me see if I can get this on camera. Okay, and again from this side here. So this could look pretty static. And the chassis that I have here, the kill key is right there. This is a, sometimes a little bit of a pain to grab. Got it. I have to say, the amount of sound fonts that come with this hilt, uh, Randy, it's great job. There are a ton of sound fonts that come with this thing. Uh, that was unexpected. I expected maybe like you know three or four sound fonts, some Vader sound fonts, different ones. Uh, not only are there ones from Rogue One, Empire Strikes Back, but uh, just about every other major Star Wars character you can think of. Luke, Ahsoka, Obi-Wan, uh, Anakin, Darth Sidious. Count Dooku, Darth Maul, um, Mace Windu. It, it, it's amazing how many are actually on this. 
So I thought that was great. And most of them have the settings already done so that their blade color pops up uh, by default when that, uh, when that font is selected. So I, I liked that quite a bit. All right, so. Show the electronics here. So this is a, a threaded bottom. Uh, pretty nice chassis, actually. That's that's uh, that's this hold this in, holds this in. This is a Goth three design chassis. Uh, I'm guessing this is specifically made for Corbanth, and um, you can see the Profi board. Simply, that's a 2.2. Uh, wiring's pretty good. You know, for the first time seeing a, a Corbanth installation, uh, I, I do enjoy this. Uh, nowadays, I'm really into the kill switches. Uh, I would have. I would have probably preferred that over the the kill key, but uh, I mean, other than that, it's it's a it's a pretty good install. Easy easy to get access to. Let's see if I can get the SD card in there correctly. So the SD cards right here. So you can pull that out and uh, you know put whatever font you on there. But like I said, I'm pretty happy with the amount of fonts that are on here. I don't think I, I haven't changed anything at all. Uh, I had played with this quite a few times. And and the only thing I've done is just kind of go through some of the, the blade selections. This does have color change. I think it's one of the latest uh, Profi Board OSs. Uh, I'm not is it? It's I don't think I'm not sure if it's 4.9, but it's it's definitely one of those because I know 4.9 came out recently, and I don't know if that update came out right before uh, Randy started shipping these out. But overall, I think they did a pretty good job and inside is Dimitri Stokes his uh, NeoPixel uh, PCB with some of the NeoPixels um, on top of the PCB to give you a little bit of color okay here we go The shroud, the MPP shroud from uh, Romans definitely makes this a, a little bit more of a, a hefty hilt. Uh, but I like that because I think it does make it a little bit more authentic. Uh, but this is definitely a, a heavy piece, completely installed. Um, you know, it's a it's a decent size, it's a decent size hilt. I'm still getting down all the buttons. There's a lot of like double and triple clicks, uh, double clicks with holds and so forth that uh, give you different uh, different actions. That, that might be Sith Lightning, I think, compared to Blaster and Lockup. And then of course there's the music that goes along with. Imperial March. Uh, so listen, let me throw a blade in here. Uh, this is also my first Corbanth blade. Uh, now, they were very nice on this because I got an email right before this thing shipped out. I mean, when I ordered this, I think within a day or two, Randy emailed me saying that they had already had a bunch of these installed that they were going to be shipping. Uh, I also ordered a, a Mace Windu. He's the, the new, uh, I guess, the second generation of, uh, of that hilt that, that, that he has. Uh, I also bought that one installed, and they said that was going to take a few weeks. But uh, they asked me if I, if I wanted a blade, and I actually said no for the Vader, but they shipped me one anyway. So i got to say thank you very much to Randy for that one. Uh, that's, a, that's, a nice little, that's a nice little surprise. I did not expect that. Uh, the only NeoPixel blades I have are Vader's Vaults, so it was actually nice to get something, get someone else's and kind of see what it looks like. Uh, pretty decent construction for the most part. I, I don't really see, I don't, I don't really have any issues with anything. Uh, it looks good. I am going to just throw this bad boy in. And I'm going to turn out the lights in a sec. 
Now the sides, this is held together, the blade retention are these two slotted screws on either side of the MPP. I may trim these down a little bit so that when I screw these in, they actually are completely in all the way, but uh, that's a little, little additional change I can do after the fact. All right, so it's daytime here and it's uh, the late morning here in New York. You're gonna see, I got a little bit of light behind me, but I think it's dark enough that we can get a good idea. Yeah, very nice. I uh, hope this comes out well on the camera. Yeah, here's Sidious. Okay. Let's see if I can get someone else's. Dooku. I've been waiting for this day for a long time. Kyla. He's got his unstable blade here. This is this might not come out well on camera. More Vader. Hey, I got a lot of these uh, directory not found ones. Little Ray. So a little yellow yellow blade here. I think I might have changed that one. I think that might have been blue when it first started. Then I made it that golden Ooh, yellow. Uh, Little Ben. All right, let me grab the lights. So, yeah, overall I was pretty happy with this. You know, I didn't really know what to expect. expect like I said, I haven't had a Corbanth installed uh, hilt. Um, I know he does these like in small batches from from what I'm uh, gathering on his website, uh, but I was I was pretty surprised with this, uh, pleasantly surprised. It it saved me the time from doing my own install. Uh, yeah, I know I paid a little more money to have that done, but um, you know sometimes I get now I get to spend spend more time with my family and get more sleep rather than doing these at uh, <laughs> at 11 and 12 o'clock at night. Um, but guys, yeah, I think that was you know the main thing I really wanted to show off was this. So if, uh, if you have these on order with uh, Corbanth, I'd say look forward to it. It's, uh, it's a pretty nice install. The blade is pretty nice. Uh, I would say maybe if you're looking to get a little bit more of a screen accurate hilt, uh, check out the MPP uh, Facebook page and see what some of the other upgrades you can make. Uh, I know I made my shroud. Uh, I changed my shroud over and there's probably a few other things. Like I said, I'm gonna probably change out some of the wires in here and, uh, and go for actual go for actual wiring rather than I'm pretty sure these look like plastic inserts there's like little uh, like plastic pins that go into the holes on the MPP so I'm gonna probably play with that a little bit I, I think I'm gonna change out the grips to the uh, to the hard grips um, like it's supposed to have and yeah I'm just gonna try to fix and solidify uh, kind of glue this in so it stays put the little bubble strip but uh, yeah, guys. Overall, this was a this was a good experience. Like I said, this came really fast. You know, I'm sure some other people got got in on those orders when they they finally were uh, restocked. And uh, you know, I look forward to the Mace Window one when that comes in. When it does, I'll do another review. And yeah, you know, I'll I'll keep you guys all updated. Uh, I am finishing up a couple of installs right now. Uh, I have my uh, my Rudy Pando V3 is just about done. I'm just trying to get the the PCB and the emitter, and once I secure that, uh, that should be finished up. Uh, I have halted install on my uh, my Luke Balance V4 when I found out that Anakin Star Killer was going to be putting out an FX version of that. So uh, right now I'm holding on that one. Uh, I have KR's his Obi Wan saber from uh, Episode One. That probably will be my next install, unless I end up getting the uh, the Brian Rogers and uh, 
and Adam uh, Mom of All Heroes, the uh, the new the new hero that's supposed to be coming out soon. So, depending on which one comes in first, that's what I'll be looking at. Um, yeah, and, and that's really about it, guys. So thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer your questions as always. And uh, thank you very much, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.